Welcome to Choctaw Stadium, home of the Jackals. Last time these two sides met the Warriors storm to a 69-22 win over Dallas. Mikey Taylor with the first touch. The Eagles sends Lance Williams, comes flying into the contact. Outside! Such a great player to watch. Outside. In support is the fullback. Drifting across field, gets to Fenn and Williams in support. Lovely ball, they shift it across to Boyson and Carlson open space. Adrian Carlson wants a switch, he throws it, comes up the Utah face. And they've come out to surprise the Utah Warriors. Denison, again quick ball. Boyson's been everywhere, the Namibian. This time, Aguirre finds it flat to Chris Pennell. Ponavulli tries to drag him forward, he's very close to the line. Denison snaps around the fringes, the opening score to the Dallas Jackals. And little Carlo gets in for five. Bashing away. The nation's there. The short ball panel nearly got over. Great tackle. Some support coming in. That was key as well. And that opened up the space. Can they get out of this one? The kick needs to go deep from here. Brilliant passage play from the Dallas Jackals. Lance Williams was in for all money as Carlso goes with a goal line dropper. Goes deep to Caleb McInerney. Mike Teo with a big jump step on the left. Gets rid of one and then finally Peru to the held, ground. And release, hands off now. Van Feeren is there. Utah looking to close this half with a score. They go to Burns on the outside, flicks it beautifully back in. Danny Christensen on the end of this one. Oh, that's spicy indeed from Danny Christensen. And the Utah Warriors finally strike at minute 34. It was a matter of time. We saw them pressing and the lovely handling skills of the backline players. After the goal line dropout, bringing it back. This man is a handful. Thought he was contained, but kept going. Just leaving a number of Dallas defenders in his wake. And that created some space out here. You saw it was a four on two. Rod Waters doing his best, but it wasn't enough. Just the support play from Utah was exceptional. They level things up. Great play on the inside from Tyler Fisher, also in support. This for the lead. Flags go up. It is 7-5. Utah lead Dallas for the late score here in the first half. Not just the players having fun, the commentators as well. And this final game for these two sides. Oh, it's easy pinch there from the baby giraffe. Bailey Wilson for the Warriors. Good attacking platform for Chad Goff that goes up midfield. Goff supported by Thomas Tuovals off the bench. Replacements used early here for the Warriors, Tomasi Tonga, dummy in a bit of space, beautiful, Joe Mano on the outside, Mano the try score machine against the fridge, Satama shuts him down, big Louis Satama, Manage. off their feet comes Kelly Kohlberg, Danny Christensen Come wants back. the pill, gets Tuovau, Advantage. Go, go, go. such a strong runner as Thomas Tuovau, apparently looks like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber, that's not me, that's Utah Warriors Socials put that out earlier this week, McInerney. Cutting back in, throws a dummy, gets DC on the inside. Danny Christensen has a double. Oh, that's fantastic in the dive also. A stunning try from the Utah Warriors. And Danny Christensen gets his second. I'm going to slow him down. I'm not, they're ready, let's so go. So McInerney finding his way through. Chris, and that Chris, was Chris, the killer Chris, Chris, blow. Chris, that offload back on the inside. Sean Davies very happy about this one. But not in the Texas spirit anymore. I'm not sure where that cowboy hat is. He will be enjoying that at least. Danny Christensen has his second try this season and happened to be in this whole game as Tuva. Thomas Tuva has another breakup. What an impact Tuva has. Back on the inside, Fisher is there. It's a Utah Warriors have bolted here at Choctaw Stadium and they score their second try within the minute. Well, that was merely seconds after the try from Christensen. Straight from the restart and this is where it gets dangerous for Dallas. Just switching off a little bit and you cannot switch off against this Utah team find their groove from the restart there it is just coming in the middle of the field and now just too many holes in this Dallas defense they've dropped their heads a little bit and that's the result racing away was Fisher easy for a seven pointer the vice captain general play gets it to Cardle so there is space there or oh, that might be a yellow card was that just an yeah. intercept from Joe Mano oh, you had a line break there as well oh. there's the yellow card we're right, Dallin, at full pace in real time. Okay, 14. Carl, oh, sir. Uh, 11, sorry. Here we go, coming in, just sticking the arm out. That's that's a deliberate knockdown for me. What do you think, Dallin? Yeah, it was special with players on the outside. Two players with a line break happening. Yeah. Bailey Crouch. Wilson, the normal captain. Fine. So in the back it goes Set. Lance Williams, ninth player in history. 
to feature in 50 MLR games. Works with Red preschool Red kids Red as well. Lasike comes in on a brilliant line. Lasike gets Danny Christensen. Oh, that is an absolute stunner. Well, he never gives up like the TV series American Idol. And Danny Christensen has three. The freight train, the tank. That is just frightening stuff, Lasike. A good tackle to bring him to a stop. For the Mario All Blacks as well. New Zealand under 20, fly off. Punavuli, outstanding at line out time. He feeds Vunga Koto, ranging for the line. To very Vunga Koto. Heads away. A couple out. I would not want to be a defender on the line there for the Dallas Jackals, particularly standing in front of Lasike. Here comes Cushionson now. He fires it. It's the missed ball. The spot opens up for Colson Warner, reaching for the line. He's there. And it's the Utah Warriors that have the icing on the cake. We have Colson Warner, USA Collegiate All American sevens player. Just going to see Jack Cole's going to double check everything. Okay, just good. looking at potential obstruction from 22. Obstruction red. from the CK. He certainly drew okay, our attention. The pass goes. He's in a position to take the pass into that space. So for okay. me, it's obstruction. All right, so uh, we've got 22 in front. He's in a position to catch, but he initiates the contact. He does initiate the contact. Okay, and then he takes out a defender, and then that player runs through the gap. Bailey, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be no try. It's going to be a penalty. I just got to explain it to him first, okay? It's going to be on the five meter in front of the six. And then now watch this, Lasika. He comes in, but contest. it's that contact. You're allowed to be a decoy as long as you don't make any contact just with outside the defender. The sticks and there he is, the just getting in the way. Yeah. Like London, he's bombed out of the way. And that was a, no, no, London's making no. the tackle. Set. Four tries to one so far in this game. Utah Warriors. They went straight back, play on. Warner. Behind the back, running onto this one superbly. Dish it out to Manos, come out of the sin bin. Good work there from Nawa. Tackler, release, release, 12. 12. Now we're in 23, Jono. Yeah, balls here, balls here, relax, 12. Teo. Release, 16. Field on Elijah Hayes. Check, 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 check. Cushions three tries to his name. What a performance he's had. Vunga Koto as well coming That's off the bench. It's a strip and it went back. Ball's out, the ball's out. 19 with Fiji. Teo stabs he's into the boot. Fun Fearon is there. Brilliant ball. Fun Fearon on the outside. Joe Mano. Oh, that's Jericho a highlight reel. Get that one up on the big screen. Come off. We'll check to see if Fun Fearon has set Joe Mano off for another score. So the call is that was behind the kicker, Mikey Teo. And we need to give that number 15 for Utah some credit, the vision. Coming off a bad ACL injury last year, 53 points to five. Utah finish on a high here. Conversion from Colson Warner will be unsuccessful. And that is full time. In the final round for these two sides in Major Rugby for 2022. Five tries to one, the Utah Warriors. They beat the Dallas Jackals here in a convincing second half performance from the visiting Warriors by 33 points to five is the final score in this game.